Hi, I'm Black Bright. Just want to welcome you all um, on my website, on my YouTube channel. Um, thank you for subscribing and um, for sharing and liking. And yeah, I mean, everything changes from one minute to the next. I'm upstairs back in my room. Why? Because the Wi-Fi isn't going into my living room. I mean, one minute it's okay, the next minute it's not. So now I'm having to connect it with an Ethernet. And the Ethernet isn't long enough, so I've got to bring the laptop upstairs. And I realise now that it's not really the um, laptop that was giving me a bad, um, you know, bad, bad resolution. It's actually the room. So anyway, there's nothing I can do about it. Just want to get out some information, um, some important information. Only yesterday... I did a video and I was saying, you know, about how, pe how people who have criminal records are going to be stigmatised for life because on the application forms, they have to tick that box to say, have you got any criminal conviction? Well, would you believe that um, the Bloomsbury, well, let me just find it and read it out so I've got it correct. The Bloomsbury Institute in London is the first higher education provider in the UK to adopt the ban the box principle for staff as well as students in a move that could encourage other universities to do the same. The Ban the Box campaign is about giving law-abiding people with convictions a fair chance to compete for jobs because applicants are not required to tick the box and disclose criminal convictions when they apply. Now, I don't know if this means um, spent convictions or whether it means current convictions. It's not clear. But apparently you don't have to tick the box. And there was no elaboration on that. It says banning the box means employers don't miss out on talented applicants who might be put off applying of sifted out at the first stage because of misconceptions about what a criminal record really means. The thing is, is that this is confined to the university. I don't know why they're talking about employers as though it's been, um, as though it's, you know, as though it's, applies to all organizations and companies at the moment as far as i can understand it applies to this particular education provider it's still good news though i thought i would share it um it says rachel tynan policy and practice lead at unlock founder member of the banda box campaign apparently unlock they um work with criminals or people who have a criminal history and they try to get them in the mainstream in jobs and employment. And they said Ban the Box can give qualified people with convictions the confidence to apply. They know they've got the chance because they'll be judged on their skills, strength and experiences first rather than their past. So this is the first step. Hopefully it'll extend to other organisations. And... Um, highlighted diversity and inclusion are buzzwords in higher education but what's often overlooked is that many of the students that universities are looking to recruit are disproportionately criminalized care leavers forced migrants first in family and students from some ethnic backgrounds are underrepresented at the university yet these are these groups that are overrepresented in the criminal justice system Hmm, now I'm beginning to think about that. Hmm, diversity and inclusion are buzzwords in higher education, but what of, what's often overlooked is that many of the students that universities are looking to recruit are disproportionately criminalised. Care leavers, forced migrants, first in family and students, so, sorry, students from the same ethnic backgrounds are underrepresented at the university. Now, are they talking about international students? Is it because they can't get international students into the university? Because even from the application stage, they're having to tick that box and therefore students aren't applying. And is this another way of 
you know, pulling money into the university, but they're losing out because what they're saying by this is that <laughs> actually it's out of order because actually what they're saying is from some ethnic backgrounds are underrepresented at the university, yet these are groups that are overrepresented in the criminal justice system. So what are they trying to say? You know what? I'm not even going to go there. I'm not in the mood today. I'm not going to be challenging this, but it sounds a bit mm, iffy. But anyway, needless to say, it's good in certain respects because that box, if you do have a criminal record, but there again, it all depends what you've done. I mean, do people really want to be around um, all types of criminals? Because that is the stigma. I mean, are they going to talk about it once they're in the institution and then people are going to feel uncomfortable? Like I said, it all depends what they've done, if it's just smoking weed or if it's... Um, you know, what they call it, shoplifting when they were 16, um, things that are not really harmful to other people. I, I'm sure at some point they would have to disclose their criminal history. They can't just have any anybody. I mean, supposing they're child offenders or something. I don't see how they can take off... You know what, I think it's probably, what's missing here is probably that it needs to be spent. The I think the criminal background needs to be spent because I don't understand how um, there doesn't seem to be any detail as to what kind of crime they've committed and they can still get into the justice system. Mind you, they're talking about care leavers, forced migrants. Maybe, just another maybe, maybe they're trying to get in um, like foreign nationals who are not really criminals, but they've been criminalised through the system. That would make sense. But then would they have the money if they are, would they have the money to apply? if they're in this situation where they're midstream and they've got no recourse to public funds and all that kind of stuff. It's a dodgy one, but I thought it, it would give a bit of hope instead of all this doom and gloom. I think it's a very, very good idea. Um, I'm sure it's there's more to it than meets the eye. I don't think it's as basic as it looks because that wouldn't be sensible. And so we'll leave it in their responsible hands. That's all for now. Bye bye.